talk about the meaning, you are not allowed. If you are the believer, then you are the awliya of Allah. And the Christians and the Jews are the awliya of shaitan as we will see even though they think otherwise. And the awliya of Rahman and the awliya of shaitan, they cannot be together. And they cannot have one heart. And they cannot have the same feelings. And they cannot have the same concerns. And they cannot sacrifice the same. And they cannot submit the same. So how you can be, and how you want to be one of the awliya of Rahman, and you are taking the awliya of shaitan as awliya. It doesn't make sense. Yani the love of Allah and the love of shaitan cannot exist two opposite in one heart. The love of the akhirah and the love of the dunya cannot compete in one heart. You have to put one to be over the other. You have to make the choice. So you are the wali of Rahman. Yani as they said, Aduwu Habibi, Aduwi. Wa Aduwu Aduwi, Habibi. The enemy of my love is my enemy. And the enemy of my enemy is my love. Is my friend. Forget about love. The enemy of my friend <coughs> is my enemy. And the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And the friend of my friend. I just added that. <laughs> but the fact is, if you are claiming to be one that يعني, that uh, status with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you want, if we're going to translate wali as a friend you want to be the friend of Allah how can you claim to be the friend of the friend of the shaitan? it doesn't work if you want to be the friend of Allah then prove to him that you you deserve that status and as we will see, one of the proofs is that you denounce all of his enemies that's where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says do not take the Jews and the Christians as awliya. Ba'aduhum awliya ba'd. They are the friends of each other. They are the allies of each other. And we're not talking about friends, yani hello and good morning. We're not talking about friends, yani I can't work with them. I cannot deal with them. The Prophet ﷺ dealt with the kuffar. But we, as we will see, wali means many and has greater meaning than just a friend or buddy. We will see that, inshallah. فَتَرَ الَّذِينَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ مَرَضْ يُسَارِعُونَ فِيهِمْ Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah al this ayat from Surah Al-Ma'idah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Then you will see those who have sickness in their hearts, rushing to them. يعني Allah says, do not take them as awliya, the Jews and the Christians. And that of course includes every other religion. Then Allah talks about specific group. He said, فَتَرَ الَّذِينَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ مَرَضْ يُسَارِعُونَ you see some of those who have sickness, and from amongst us who have sickness in their hearts, rush to them. That means, if you are taking them the way you're not supposed to, Allah says you are sick. Sick in your heart. That means you're so close for your heart to be sealed. So be aware. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells you your heart is sick, and if one of us goes to a doctor and he tells him, he puts the, the stethoscope and the, the whatever they call it, and he starts listening to his heartbeat and he tells him, your heart is not beating well. And maybe the doctor got issues with his ears, but he tells you your heart is, is not sounding good. You freak out. You call your wife crying. You call your lawyer. You want to write your will. Huh? You say with your family and you start saying goodbye. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling you, if you do this and you take them, you take them awliya, your heart is sick. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? If Allah tells you you're sick, your heart is sick. So very important. Now why they rush to them? They say we are afraid. We are afraid because it looks like they're getting good. Those kuffar are good and strong and very advanced. And they got all these, all these planes and all these weapons. So definitely they're going to defeat us. So now if I'm friend with them, when they defeat the rest of the Muslims, I can remind them. Remember we were buddies? Don't hurt me now. 
Mm. That's how they think. And the reason they think that way, because they never had the right Iman in their heart. Because they measure things with numbers. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَيُصْبِحُ عَلَى مَا أَسَرُّ يَقُولُ نَخْشَى أَن تُصِيبَنَا دَائِرَةً فعسى الله أن يأتي بال فعسى يعني when Allah says فعسى يعني واجبة عسى if you want to translate عسى يعني maybe but when Allah says عسى يعني it will it's a must Allah you usually say maybe when you're not sure when you don't know but Allah knows so when Allah used the word عسى يعني that is the fact it will happen فعسى أن يأتي بالفتح أو أمر من عنده and Allah might send the victory and whatever command he wants any order destroy those people send them an earthquake send them a hurricane send them a volcano let them fight each other let them get divided the kuffar يعني those you, you are fooled with their strength Allah decide anything he wants without the believers even fighting, without them being hurt. Then those people who rushed into them, they will be regretful. Then Allah says, When you see someone who says, La ilaha illallah, he comes on Friday to the Salah. He might be coming into the five prayers. He's fasting with us. He breaks his fast with us. He gives sakka, he's this and that, he celebrates with us. But you see him always rushing into the kuffar. When you talk to him, he's always praising the kuffar. And so impressed with the kuffar. And this and that. Yani he only sees, yani some of them said, سَنَأْخُذُ عَنِ الْغَرْبِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَتَّى النَّجَاسَاتِ الَّتِي فِي أَمْعَاهِمْ We will take from the West everything, even the, the najasat and the impurities from their, their intestines. Some people are like that. Yani anything comes from the West is good. And if they would see. Yeah, and one of the blessings for the Muslims to live in this country is they can see the reality. They can see the corruption. And they can see the immorality. And they can see the diseases. And they can see the, the barbarism that these people live in. So how, so those who believe say, how come those people doing this? Yeah, and didn't they swear that they, they will be loyal to Allah? What's making them do this? You cannot understand. But it's very simple. Allah already said why. Because their hearts are sick. And he says, Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu man yartadda minkum an deene fasawfa yaati allahu bi qawmin yuhibbuhum wa yuhibbuna. Allah continues to say, O you who believe, whoever turns his back away to his religion. Now he's telling you, remember we said that their hearts are sick. So they, with sick hearts, and they are always with those who make their hearts sicker. And if you, if, you, if you are sick, and you're hanging around with people who are sick, you think you're going to get cured very quick? You're going to even get sicker. So those people are sick, and they're still yet hanging out with the people who made them sick. So they're going to just get sicker and sicker. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, مَنْ يَرْتَدُّ مِنْكُمْ مَنْ يَرْتَدُّ مِنْكُمْ عَنْ دِينِ Whoever leaves his religion. Because that is the end result. The end result will be, he going to leave the religion. Without even, you remember when I said at the beginning, without even knowing, without even realizing. If you ask him, he will say, I'm Muslim. But he is out of Islam without knowing. Because of his heart and his loyalty. فَسَوْفَ يَأْتِ اللَّهُ بِقَوْمٍ And Allah will bring. And you turn your back to his deen, that's fine. Allah will bring people, new people, who love him and he loves them. أَذِلَّةٍ عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ أَعِزَّةٍ عَلَى الْكَافِ They're humble with the believers. They're honorable and tough with the disbelievers. Today the ayah is different. It's completely the opposite. Completely the opposite. In front of Mike and John and uh, Christopher, we are, how are you, buddy? 